I had, uh, what you heard is about the third of what I had thought of, uh, even written down. I did go into this question of solitude in, in love very, uh, but I thought I really wasn't qualified. I, I really have to stick to my own experience too, of, of what I heard, what I lived. Thank you very much for saying that. Is there anyone else? There were a couple of other hands earlier on. Um, if not, I had one thing to ask you um, from your talk. Uh, you, you talked about not preaching, and I wondered if you might say a little bit more about that. Uh, well, yet again, I'm not qualified to preach. Uh, I may be qualified to share my experience with people who are part of the experience. That's you. I may be able, as a teacher, to uh, try and introduce my pupils to some uh, <coughs> part of life to which they have no access because of circumstances of their life. And also, as a teacher of literature and of culture, generally of both French and Russian culture, I had to explain why people were writing what they did. I mean, you try teaching Dostoevsky without talking of, about God, and you'll, you'll be in trouble. Uh, so, uh, yes, in those cases, I was uh, I am qualified. But there is one thing about not preaching in words um, and not... Uh, not even introducing people to a, a, a specific type of thinking and of behaving, a specific Christian one. And I discussed this with Peter Quart and Anthony, for instance, people who ask me to be their godmother, and one is not allowed to, to refuse. Uh, I did never refuse, but neither did I ever become a godmother to the people who ask in Russia because I could not give them any background for their own lives. You know, if you preach, if so, you touch the intellect of somebody, um, they will be looking further intellectually. But if you show them an example of how one can live, they may come to wherever they might have got intellectually through living it. This is why it's so important that people who saw us work and that everybody who, who we got uh, in, invited from Russia, we always presented to Metropolitan Anthony. Everybody attended at least one liturgy. I'll never forget one man who came in with his hat on and lit a cigarette in the, in the cathedral. Um, it, it, they were as ignorant as that to start. Uh, but they were presented they saw that such a life existed, and that's the only thing that they knew about us. They knew our deeds, and they knew where we came from. And it was their own choice then to pursue the link, and uh, to try and build up a life for themselves. And this is why it's so important that all those people got christened, or st started going to the synagogue. There were no, no Muslims, I don't know what they would have done uh, in, in our groups. Um, because they found their own life. And they, I hope that they led the sort of life that we would have liked them to lead. But it was their choice and their initiative. Whereas if we had preached, it wouldn't have worked, I don't think. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to thank Irina for her terrific start to this day. A wonderful talk. Thank you. And comprehensive answers, I think, to the points and, and questions that were made. Um, and this is the perfect time for a very short break.